What's up everyone, my name is Minx, and today we're going to be, uh, I'm really quickly getting, uh, a mods installed to, uh, Lethal Company. Um, so from basically a fresh install, uh, to having your game set up with mods. Um, so there's going to be two links in the description. Um, of course, I'm going to have the, uh, link to, uh, Bepinex, which is what we use to mod the game in the description. And you're going to come to GitHub and make sure it's this link. Don't download Bepinex from an unknown source because it could be malware. Um, we want to get it directly from GitHub. Head on over to the releases. And then um, we want 5.4.22, latest version. And we just want, uh, you typically want the 64 uh, version. So we'll do that one. We'll go ahead and head on over to downloads. And once you have it here, Go ahead and do this, and you don't actually need to do anything, you can just leave it like this for now. Um, so, you've got this, so you want to make sure you have the Bepinex folder, the changelog, doorstop, config, and winhtt showing. Next up, go to Steam, and I'll bring it over here, and right click on your lethal company, manage, browse local files. And once that's done, there you go. Um, once that's done, you should have this. So what you want to do is take this uh, from Bepinex, so the, basically the root of the Bepinex zip, and put it into the root of Lethal Company. Copy over. If it asks you to replace anything, just go ahead and hit replace. I had WinHTTP and probably the change log in there. Um, yours will likely not ask you to replace anything. Now, once you've done that, you'll see it looks kind of like this. Um, you may not see everything let's see the mini HTTP doorstop well, you probably see everything that i have actually um and then the bepinex folder isn't going to have a lot of stuff going on so next thing you do with after you've done this is, is hit play on your game what this is going to do if we open this up is you're going to see a few more folders pop up Give it a few seconds here, let it just run, and you'll have all the folders you need. Once you have all of these folders, you can actually quit the game. Now that you've done that, you are ready to actually install mods. So we can close out of, uh, actually we'll leave this open, we'll go back. And we're gonna download my mod, the Game Master. We got release 1.01, .01, gamemaster.dll. Suspicious because it's not commonly downloaded. I'm gonna download it because I know it's not suspicious. Downloads, it's right here, gamemaster.dll, Epinex, plugins. Now, there's a couple extra steps that may make things a little better for you that we're going to look at right now. So, if you go into the config for Epinex, and we put over to config. Um, if you see here where it says uh, chain loader if enabled hides Bepinex game object from Unity, you don't want to set that to true. Certain things work better with that set to true because um, Lethal Company really does a aggressive cleaning um, when it loads certain things, um, and it'll destroy some objects. Um, so certain mods may not function very well unless you uh, enable this. So you're gonna want to enable that. And there's actually before we do, there's one more setting. Um, let's see here. So, log console to, so, no, here we go. Logging got, uh, console. So if you don't turn this, if this is set to false, what you're going to see is this log output dot log file have stuff. And that's nice. Um, and if you don't want a console popping up, oops. Um, then that's perfectly fine to make sure your thing's working. At least at the first, I like to turn it to true. Now, if we set that to true, go back into Steam here, and we launch the game, what we'll see is this. This means you know it's working. Um, so when you see uh, a console popping up for me when I'm doing like my other videos, that's because I have that set to name. It says plugin loaded, loading Lethal Company Game Master. So we know that we've got our game modded correctly simply because this happened. So if you don't want the console popping up, you can go back and set it to false, and then it won't pop up with the uh, um, with that information, but if we Alt F4 out of this and we go back into the Epinex folder, the log output, 
we can see that it uh, uploaded the plugin. So that's how you mod Unity, or that's how you uh, mod Lethal Company. Um, all your config files, such as the one for uh, um, even for my map uh, mod, including any others, will show up here. Um, so you can mess with those settings from there. Um, and yeah, that should be it. So thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.